Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be transforming this shirt, which I've had for a very long time, into something different. Well, this is a nice shirt, but I want it to be a little shorter and I'm just not a big fan of these full sleeves. So let's see if or how we can transform it into a beautiful denim jacket. Well, first things first, I want to take off these metal snaps without damaging my shirt. So the best way to do it is with a scissor. Just be very careful, very patient and slowly paying attention to the way these things are snapped into the denim and slowly fold or bend in the teeth which is holding the snap together. You'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute. Keep pushing it slowly inside without tearing the cloth. Be very careful. Once we get the scissor in the right position, snap off like that and both parts of the metal snap should fall off. And you can just take it off and you'll see the teeth of it pushed in with our scissors that we were trying to separate. And there you go. The same way, remove the other side of the snap slowly and steadily. You'll get the hang of it when you try and do more of it. And just slowly snap it off or take it off like that the more we do it the more easier it gets and there's that teeth that we broke now we're just gonna repeat the steps to remove all of these buttons slowly without damaging the denim and here we are as you can see no damages and we are snap free and the next step is to cut the length of the shirt you can make it however shorter you want and we are going to fold the frayed edges in nice and tight. Make a double fold up to an inch and sew it. And we got to sew it all around. I'm going to do this by hand but if you're going to do it in the machine you would get a more perfect and a nice finish plus it's quick when you do it in the machine. I also went ahead and made a parallel stitch for a nicer finish. Now we are going to move on to the cuffs. I don't like the length nor the cuffs right here, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. going to double fold up to a quarter inch to seal in the frayed edges. I don't mind the uneven stitches here as I will fold the cuffs so that it looks like a 3 4 sleeve. Now we are moving on to the fun and the easiest part of this DIY which is fixing buttons. I got these little denim buttons off of Amazon. I will put the link in the description box. It comes with a small screw and a denim button. These are super cute and easy to put on without sewing. They also gave me this tiny screwdriver. So I'm going to just poke a hole in the button strip just like that. Make sure we don't damage the cloth. It's okay if a thread or two is peeking out. We will get back to that later. Once we are happy with that, insert the screw and push away any of the threads or cloth that's in our way. Now, the easiest part, screw in the button. to tighten it. I don't think it's necessary but if you want it, you can do it. And there you have it. I've never fixed buttons this quick. And now let's go ahead and cut these peaking threads so that there's a nice and a neat finish. Finally, go ahead and fix all the buttons that we need. 
but make sure that we don't fix the buttons close to each other because for jackets the buttons are a little far apart compared to a shirt so let's make sure these are properly distanced and we only need like four or five buttons for a jacket Now the most difficult part for me in this DIY was to sew the buttonholes. Well, once again, if you are using a sewing machine, it is going to be very easy because it's automatic in the machine and it does everything for you. But I'm going to do this by hand and I'm going to start by making a small slit approximately the size of my button. I had to cut it both the sides because there were too many layers. If you make the slit a little bigger by mistake, you can always hand sew that little part and fix it. Now that we have our slit, make sure the button actually fits the slit. If it's slightly bigger or smaller, we can always fix it before we finalize it. That looks good. And so basically we're just going to sew around the slit we just made. It's tedious, but it'll work. And that's how it's going to look once we've finished. Nicely closed, sealed edges without frays. Are you ready to see the finished product? 